So today I want to talk to you a little bit about seven signs of depression so that you can maybe identify if this is something that you're struggling with and seek help if you think that might be appropriate for you. My name is Dr. Sonia and I'm a licensed clinical psychologist with over 10 years of experience treating people with a variety of issues. Um, I've worked with many people who are struggling with depression and know that it can be a really, really tough thing to be dealing with and so I really want to help you to recognize if this is something that might be too much for you to handle right now and something where it would be good for you to reach out and talk to an expert. There are many, many things that you can do if you're depressed to feel a little bit better and I want to make sure you understand what those are. But first, I want to start by helping you understand what the typical signs and symptoms are. So one of the most common signs of depression is a feeling of sadness or irritability that is really pervasive and doesn't seem to go away no matter what you do, if you're with friends, if you're by yourself, um, the sadness just sort of becomes uh, your reality. Uh, irritability can also be present, and this is much more typical in teens, uh, that they will present with more irritability than sadness when they're dealing with depression. Second sign of depression is feeling really hopeless. And this can be hopeless about getting better. It can be a sense of hopelessness about the future and the ability of sort of achieving your hopes and dreams. And again, it's, it's a very, very tough symptom to deal with because other people can tell you, you know, you have so much to look forward to or this great thing is happening in your life. But if you're really struggling with depression, that hopelessness just kind of takes over and keeps you stuck. The third sign of depression that you should be aware of is something called anhedonia, which is really a fancy way of saying a loss of interest in things that you previously used to enjoy. So for example, you might really be into gardening and all of a sudden you find that no matter how many times you garden or if you try to garden, there's just not the same joy that you're getting out of it that you used to. Or maybe you used to really be really social and enjoy spending time with your friends and you find that you just can't bring yourself to get out of the house and to go and interact with these friends. And it's really, really difficult to deal with because it's very hard to motivate yourself when the things that really used to be what got you out of bed and got you ready for the day no longer hold the same enjoyment and pleasure that they used to. So the fourth sign of depression is either decreased concentration and or indecision, the difficulty with making decisions. And this can be really difficult um, when you have to function either in the workplace or you have a lot of responsibilities at home because you'll find that it's harder to complete the task that you need to complete. And if you do need to make decisions, there's almost like this decision paralysis where you find that you just can't get yourself to the place of making choices that used to come really easily to you. The fifth sign of depression that you should be aware of are changes in sleep. And this can be either that you find yourself sleeping a lot more than you used to and having like a really hard time getting out of bed. Maybe you've never been a napper and all of a sudden you're taking a nap every day. Um, on the other side of the spectrum, many people who are struggling with depression find that they can't sleep, that they're wracked with insomnia for the first time in their life and they're laying in bed and their thoughts just keep running around um, and they're feeling sad and they're feeling hopeless and so either too much or too little sleep is a really cardinal sign of depression that you should be aware of. The sixth sign of depression that you should be aware of are changes in appetite or weight. Uh, and this can be either in the positive or the negative depression. Sometimes when people are depressed, they find that they use food for comfort and end up eating a lot more than typical and gaining weight. And sometimes when people are depressed, they lose their appetite completely and don't eat at all and find that they lose weight. So if you've had any significant weight changes within the last couple months, and you also have some of the other signs and symptoms we're talking about, it might be a good idea to consider that there's some level of depression going on that you're struggling with. 
So another uh, and final sign of depression that we're going to talk about today is a sense of worthlessness. So, and, and really this is very, very difficult for people to handle because it's, it's a sense that no matter what they do, they're not enough, their life is not enough, and it won't ever be enough. And this is such a difficult thing to be dealing with. And so I think my overall message as you're learning about these signs of depression is that if you're experiencing these, please, please reach out and make an appointment with a licensed professional to talk about this, because this is something that can get better and you don't need to struggle with it on your own. If you think that you or someone you love might be struggling with depression, please reach out and make an appointment with a licensed professional for an evaluation. There are many therapeutic techniques that can help you or someone you love feel better. And so I, I strongly encourage you not to hesitate to get the help that you need. If you like this video, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you'll find a lot more content on a variety of mental health topics. And if you're interested in learning more about online counseling, please click the link to betterhelp.com below.